or Rachel. <laughs> what are you doing? This came loose. What came loose? This. Liz, what's the antidote to Warfarin? Vitamin K. Tori, what foods can you not eat with MAOIs? Avocado. <laughs> what medicine do we use for heart failure? Digoxin. What vital sign do you monitor with beta blocker? Blood pressure and heart rate. What lab sure. value do you monitor with heparin? <laughs> I don't know. APT, I'm put on this. Colleen, what do you do with a boggy fundus? I don't know, call the provider. <laughs> What med kit you give a child? What? Aspirin. <laughs> what do you do if the IV site gets all red and inflamed? What happens if you run vecomycin too fast? What med do you get for bradycardia? Atrophy. <laughs> And then I told him that Reagan actually isn't the president, and he called me a lie. You have a student today. Me? Yes. Wait, okay, hang tight. I just had a student last week, though. They come weekly. They come weekly? God, that's frequent. Okay. Um, and nobody else can take on this student? Not today. Meet Kelsey. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Um, no offense, hon. No offense, hon. Um... Not to be dramatic or anything, but I would rather personally be choked out by the patient in room five than take on a student today. I'm really sorry, but you have to. God, I hate my life. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chelsea, couple of ground rules here. Um, don't ask any questions and keep up with me because I will not wait for you. Let's go. Yeah, not a lot going on around here lately. Let's just see what's behind this door. No. <laughs> Is there a better door around here, maybe? Melt. That is legit the same Tupperware I give my five-year-old daughter what, what, for school every day. What are you saying? Say, I, say, say it again. Tupperware? Say it again. Slow. Tupperware? Slow. Very slow. Say, first, say the first syllable. Tub. Wrong. <laughs> what do you mean wrong? I th this morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. And we are getting out of <gasps> The tank is clean. Amanda, what's your advice for new grad? Always trust your gut. Beautiful. No. Miles, what's your advice for new grads? First, you gotta get some Crocs. And number two, start stocking up on tequila. Oh. Christina, what's your tip for a new grad? Be prepared. Okay. Be able to take constructive criticism. Don't get too comfortable. Remember, patients' lives are on the line. Booyah. So what's your advice for new grads? Own them. When you walk in the room, own the room. Oh. Own the patient. Oh. You are the boss. Confidence is everything. There you go. Hey, what's your tip for a new grad? Uh, push through. The day always ends. Don't make it through. Perfect. Sandy, what's your tip for a new grad? Drink your greens. Always have a Yes. Talk. Woo. So I actually like really, really studied for this test as I do for every test, but like more so for this one. And I feel like I'm going to do really well. I put the work in, and I really feel like I'm going to succeed. I'm just so upset inside, and I just feel so alone right now. <laughs> okay, one. Which liquid would you give to a patient who is dehydrated? I give normal saline. Water, H2O, agua, a bottle of water? Um, professor, I don't see normal saline as an answer. Don't read into the question, just answer what they give you. Um, okay, um, but these are all the same thing. Yes, that's how NCLEX will test you. They are all correct. Which one is most correct? Okay, I, I guess A, since it's the most straightforward. Wrong, it was C. The patient's Spanish speaking. How was I supposed to know that there's- This was a level one question. I don't think you're ready for NCLEX. I know some of these words. So baby girl, I'm about to save you a lot of money and a lot of wasted time. If you are studying for your NCLEX right now, what you need to do is go ahead and buy you world and read them rationales. People don't wanna people don't wanna spend that money. 
but you got to spend money to make money, okay? You trying to pass the test? That's what I'm telling you to do right now. I tried it my first time without you, world. I didn't listen to my, my classmate, my, my nurse sister in my class who was using it before graduation. Um, and I decided to just study my ATI, study my NCLEX review books. I did the, the Kaplan review thing. I read all my notes over and over and over again, and I failed. And my, maybe because of some anxiety. But that second time, I used a, a UWorld nonstop, read all my rationales. It looks just like the NCLEX. It will prepare you, especially with anxiety. You'll feel more comfortable with it. So just don't even waste your time. Just go ahead and buy it, okay? Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You're in nursing school, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, because I've been having this chest pain, and it's like, I'm not on that chapter yet, bitch. Come back to me next week. If you're a nurse or want to be a nurse or are a pre-health student or a health professional, and you have any prejudice towards any group of people, then you should pick a different career path. And that's it. That's the TikTok. And were you nervous doing that? You know what? I was nervous for my second performance, for my first performance. I was like, ah, party with Cardi, yeah. say for the first day in the ER it's pretty quiet today isn't it oh my who the f who the hell said that it was the freaking new grad all right I'm sorry guys I didn't know I couldn't say that I'm just saying I'm just surprised how slow it is today oh my god he did not just say quiet and slow in the ER within two minutes listen Ben those are two words you never say in the ER and you should have learned that in nursing school and that should have been on your NCLEX what words do you never say in the ER? Select all that apply. And you should have chosen quiet and slow. I swear to God, you say that stuff again, I'm transferring you out to the GI lab and you're just gonna watch doctors put cameras at patients' asses every shift, every day. All right guys, well I hope you did the daily crash cart check because we're about to get a code blue any second now. And Jared, can you make sure that we have enough lube on the supply wall because we're about to get fucked. She don't see us? <laughs> You see me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I see you. You see me? Hell yeah, I see you. Both of us. Are we supposed to know what we're doing? No? Great. Just checking. So the next time that nurse says something, what you gonna tell her? Um, I think the fuck not, you trick ass bitch. Exactly. I'm Preceptor Diana. I'll explain the details of this assignment and your objectives, just as a preceptor would. Patient is Danny Rivera, an eight-year-old Puerto Rican boy presenting with a cough in the Shadowville Elementary Nurse's Office. Hi, Danny. My name is Danielle. I'll be your nurse today. Hi. So Danny, can you tell me what brings you to the nurse's office? My music teacher, Mr. Hellman, sent me here because he said I look sick. I've been coughing a lot, and I feel kind of tired. Can you tell me more about your cough? I just keep feeling like I have to cough every couple minutes or so. <clears throat> I think it gets worse at night. Do you feel like you have a sore throat? It feels a little bit sore, yeah. All right, so I see a blood return, and so now I'm gonna retract the needle. <laughs> there we go, and push the catheter in, and there's a drop of blood coming out, 
and I'm gonna attach the um, saline lock. There we go. And now I'm just gonna install some. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to nursing school. I'm gonna give you a brief little intro, okay? I'm gonna be very honest and transparent with you from the get-go. So firstly, I would like to say that I remember what it was like to be a bright-eyed nursing student. Um, but just know that slowly and surely we will suck the life out of you. Secondly, I wanted to give you a recommendation and that is to get started on a prophylactic dose of antidepressants, okay? If you don't um, know a psychiatrist, I'm happy to help. I have several recommendations and yeah, if you don't have depression now, you probably will by the end of the semester, all right? Uh, additionally, I would like to mention that 50% um, of you won't make it past the first two weeks, so goodbye to you guys and good effort, really good effort. Um, also, just general things you can expect include sadness, misery, um, probably some anxiety, and you know, um, general emotional pain and no social life. So let's get into it.